All right, it's time for more unboxing of crap that I bought on eBay. That's the plier side. Krafa, I think I'm gonna open up the biggest box first because it's like Christmas, except in summertime and quarantine. This box comes from a person. So, oh, collectible toy soldiers. Okay, what did I order? Hmm. A lot of stuffing material in here. Oh, again with the effing tape, dude. Okay. <laughs> Packing peanuts, they make a mess in the studio. Time for some ASMR, Carapa. All right, um, people, I don't know what this is, but there's a hell of a lot of packing. Oh my God, Krafa, it's an ASMR dream, ready? I'm gonna bring this home for my 10 year old son. He is a sensory seeker, so he likes to crunch things and make noises and he's very tactile. All right, we got some minis. Stupid packing peanuts, get out of the way. Got some minis. I will say these people take their stuff. Oh, I remember this. Okay, so here's the backstory. I was on eBay making some impulse purchases for minis and I saw these um, soldiers and they were painted and flocked and I thought that they looked really good on the, the eBay shop. And in fact, here they are, Dave. I want you to take a look at that. So the idea was I wanted to have like soldiers and militia with some diversity. I wanted to have them not all look like the same. So I have um, quite a few like militia and soldiers from Dwarven Forge. This will have to be bent back but I wanted a, a mix, right? So I got these, these like kind of European style soldiers and then look at this, kind of like, like tribal Zulu dudes, right? So I saw this and just went ballistic. <laughs> Bless you, Dave. Um, and wow, the amount of packing tape and bubble used for this is respectful, but my dull imitation Leatherman has a tough time. So here's another one of the tribal dudes. That's dope. And look at the base. It's even flocked. Can you even see that? Um, I mean, that's, that's a great paint job. Now I will say that these were a bit on the higher side of price and I can't remember exactly what I paid for them, but I will say that given the fact that they were on the higher side of the price, I was a little concerned about quality matching up what I saw in the photos, but they match up. So here's another soldier. Now look closely, because these are different sculpts. Like this guy has a beard. This guy is like, you know, they both are kind of spear and shield men, but then look at the shields, Dave. That's what I'm talking about, about that diversity in sculpts. Like that's precisely what I'm talking about. Now, um, you know, that's, that's another thing while we're on the topic of minis. Well, remember this is the day that Bill stabbed his eye out. See, I have to be careful because these dudes have these spears and if I bend this bubble wrap too much, it'll, um, It'll wreck things. I gotta be careful. So, but on the topic of minis, you know, some of the minis 
that you see out there are made for D&D. Some of them are made for like wargaming. And I think the sculpts are all different. You know, these guys kind of have a Roman vibe. Now here, can you see that? I bent his spear and now it's like half broken off. So I'm gonna have to do a little repair work on that. Um, I think this packing tape is what's effing up the works. So I'm just gonna try to carefully open these. Here's another one of the soldiers, the tribal dudes. This is great because, you know, a lot of times our, our D and D or fantasy role playing games are kind of in a European setting, but you know, not always. And it's cool to have some variety. And now I have like these cool, you know, um, tribesmen who are soldiers that could be part of, you know, an army, or they could be like the, the militia in a, in a certain civilization. That's it. I feel like there should be more. I, th I have to look at my eBay order. I thought I ordered like eight of each. Maybe I didn't. We'll see. All right, this next thing is from Kryptonite Collectibles. Kryptonite Collectibles found on eBay. But what is contained? The answer, I don't know. That's why this is an exciting unboxing. Oh, look at that, an invoice. Characters of Adventures, Orcs pre-painted plastic miniature set. Really? I do not recall that. Let us look into this. Okay, this is just, oh, yeah. Okay, all right, so can you see that in the package, Dave? That's cool. I'm gonna open it up and then I'll just lay the guys out for you. Characters of adventure. What if they all broke when I open this? This is, um, these are made by Roll4 Initiative, 28 millimeter pre-painted plastic miniatures, characters of adventures. Why are the bases clear? Clear bases. Um, I don't know. I don't so much mind, Dave. I mean, it's kind of it's, fine. It's, it's kind of weird. I've never seen that before. Yeah. Me neither, buddy. All right, so we've got some orcs there, male and female. This one is brutally holding up the head of an enemy. See that? Got a guy here in armor. Um, and you know what? For pre-painted, man, this isn't too bad. I mean, that looks like it's painted. oh yeah, pre-painted. That's what I'm saying, but not hand painted. Like, or if it is hand painted, it's kind of like a fast, quick and dirty kind of job. There's like a female orc archer. Orcs looks like characters from uh, Mad Max. Uh huh. Yeah, I think you could use these in a post-apocalyptic setting because they're not, you know, they're they're big, bulky orcs, but they're not. Um, Ridiculous. I will say though that the enormous difference between these plastic pre-painted minis and these metal minis that clearly someone took the time to detail um, is tremendous. Not just the minis themselves, but the paint jobs. But you know what? Those were a lot cheaper too. So I am happy with that purchase. Very much so. And now this package just absolutely smothered. I don't even know where to cut this open, to be frank with you. Um, the hell. Bill, cut away from yourself. Remember last episode, Dave, when I cut my finger? Okay. Is this literally just... Uh, uh, inner office mailer wrapped around a box? I think it is. And whoever this person is from Battlegrounds. Oh, Springfield, Illinois. See? Shop local. Oh my god, seriously? Well, I mean, relatively speaking, Dave, it's local to our state. I don't know. 
but it's wrapped in eBay. And then wait, as if that wasn't enough. <laughs> the interior box has eBay tape on it too. That's funny. You know. Um, so I don't remember what I ordered from them. Once again. Ow. It always happens. Oh, yeah, dude. In the package, unpainted metal. We have Townsfolk. We have Barnabas Frost Pirate Captain. You guys know where this is going if you saw the last episode. Here's um, Reaper Dark Legends Pirate King and Queen metal. Here's um, Dark Heaven Legends Pirate Lord and Cabin Boy. I might have gone overboard with the pirates. Oh, Townsfolk, more Townsfolk. These are big metal minis. I mean, this is why this whole package is so heavy. Um, Arvin Scarhole, Pirate Captain. Um, Santuan de Franz, Pirate. The, <laughs> why did I order this? <laughs> the, the Nativity. <laughs> it's like a shepherd boy with a sheep. Oh, I know why, because I was like, I don't, I have a lot of like townsfolk, but I don't have a, like a lot of like farm folk. That's why I ordered that. And the last one is Blackbeard Pirate. So as I mentioned in the last unboxing crap from eBay video, I'm working on this epic campaign and it's, there's a lot of island hopping and ships and sailors and pirates and privateers. And I wanted more pirates. Now I have a bunch now. These all have to be painted. The question is, is whether I will paint them myself or put them back into a box and mail them to DOD Spec Ops and commission him to paint them. Questions that must be answered on the next episode. Why, so why don't pirates shower before they walk the plank? Why don't pirates shower before they walk the plank? I don't know, Dave. Why don't pirates shower before they walk the plank? Because they'll just wash up on shore later. Because they'll just wash up on shore later. Badoom. All right, people. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode of Unboxing with Bill. I should drop a little pill and then put on a devil mask. I should drop a little drop a little I should drop a little pill and then put on a devil mask. Crapa? 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 Rafa, 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 Rafa,